Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to see how to draw graphs and the chart for some demographic uh, variables like gender, age and location. So as you can see from this uh, data set, here after the analysis of the data using spaces or using descriptive statistics of spaces, now we can analyze these findings through drawing graphs using Excel. So what I can do here is that I should uh, first just copy and paste these uh, numbers to new columns and then I just uh, copy or rather select uh, the female and male groups and along with their frequency and go to insert and uh, go to recommended charts so i'm using microsoft excel 2015 uh, if you have other versions you can go again to insert and look for for that but i don't think that you may have this recommended chart so you can pick up some charts from here okay so i'm going to go to recommended charts so i have clustered column uh, pie chart and clustered bar so I'm going to choose clustered column and click OK now I need to edit uh, this uh, charts okay can remove this according to EPA I will remove also those lines and select this by double clicking uh, till I find this uh, new bar here uh, on the side of Excel so I'm going to click this icon and go to fill and choose a pattern fill like this I can pick up a pattern here from the list of patterns so I can pick up this one and again you can even choose the, the color okay so I can choose black okay here it is now what I can do is that I can uh, click again and uh, click add lay data labels just to add the frequency of male and the frequency of female all right group so this is how I can add labels and then I just uh, once I finish I click uh, on this chart and left click and click cop copy and paste it to, to work okay this is the procedure of how to uh, insert uh, charts or turn uh, tables into charts using Excel uh, because Spaces does not provide good charts so I advise you to use uh, Excel instead or rather instead and then you can uh, copy and paste the charts to your Word document uh, you can also uh, pick up different uh, designs of charts. I can just show you this example of age again. I'm going to follow the same procedure. I can pick up some charts here, recommended charts. Uh, I, I, if I don't uh, want these types of charts, I'm going to click all charts and keep choosing. So maybe I want uh, bar or pie chart or uh, this one so I have different types okay so I want these ones okay the three the uh, charts so I can click OK and here they are again I can remove uh, these things just to make it uh, appropriate according to the EPA style and then click pattern fill and choose the pattern for the the elements here or the rows here so or the bars here so I want to add maybe description behind this chart so I'm going to select the whole chart and go to chart design and gain a quick layout and I can choose different types of uh, layout so I have this uh, layout that is uh, that shows elements of the uh, 
the charts so the majority of uh, researchers do this one okay so you can see and I can add elements just from here or add labels I can place them above by moving them like this by clicking and dragging them till we move till I find this icon and then I can drag it okay so I can drag them so I can keep editing the charts the way I want or the graphs so here it is uh, you can remove the title or maybe you can keep it depending on what you need normally in EPE style we do without even the lines here uh, but I think this one does not allow this operation uh, then we can keep working on it editing it till we finish the editing then once we think that this uh, chart is ready we can copy and paste it to, to our uh, word document and write uh, some commands on it so this is how we can do it here we can again choose the the background of the chart okay so there are different backgrounds you can here switch row and columns uh, select data change uh, the type of the chart so we have different options move chart okay so there are different ways and even I can pick up different colors from here quick layout and I can just add elements as I told you so these are different ways on how we can do this okay so this is how we can design charts maybe in format not just uh, choose the chart type or rather the chart design window and we can have different options here and you can choose what suits you the best and once you feel confident you can just uh, copy and paste the chart to your say word document so this is how we go about doing this if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via my whatsapp or one of my social media platforms and uh, see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.